What's good, my call followers? It's your lead here, Sue Scott. Welcome back to a brand new video. If I sound different, that's because I'm sick right now. And, you know, that's kind of the reason why I haven't been uploading any videos lately. It's your boy, Sue Scott. Back with a brand new video, obviously. Alright, here's five things I need in World Box. Just to guys keep you entertained. Let me... Uh, <laughs> Put some people down, you guys know. You guys know. <laughs> Souls. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. But let me just put these people down right quick. Alright, five things I need in World Box right now. Okay. Okay. Number one, I would love to see more type of civilizations. Yes, we have the Epic Four, and with the recent update, you can now have multiple different kingdoms. That is cool and all, but I still need more civilizations. This holds back that. That hurts back. <laughs> that holds back the simple thing of having needing more people, more different civilizations. But having more civilizations, it's still no different. I still need more civilizations. Here's a few ideas: robots. Uh, um, I can only think of robots. <laughs> robots, skeletons. Um, how about some aliens? Yeah, some advanced super alien civilization. Yeah, and. Zombies, zombies, and should get their own. Even if you go to animals, the the code ones, I definitely think should be a civilization. So there's an idea right there. You already have a character design for the code ones anyway. So yeah, number four, I would love to see be able to see the governments. Like I will love to have different governments, like different situations of government, like communists, fascism, democracy. Uh, the other one that has king, kings and queens. The recent update, I call it the kings and queens update. Wood in world box. That's the recent. That's the recent thing I've named this update. So I would love to see more. You know, different types. Like if there was a thing, so I can see if there were communists, fascism. I can actually decide on what nation I could have. And I would love if the player could somehow influence this. As in, like, I can change it depending on if I want it or not. Like, every AI-only game, like, it's hard to explain, but yeah, that's kind of what I want. Number three. <clears throat> Number three on the list, I would love to see different type of cities. So far, we only have their one type of main city. That's really kind of it, and then those main cities kind of just spread out and make other main cities. But that's about it. I would love to see cities have culture based on their environment. If, like, let's say if they were close to the water, they'll have water ports and boats and stuff. And if they were in the, if they had a bunch of oil or they were close to oil, they would be able to have, they would be able to have um, oil factories or oil mines or something. Cool stuff like that. You know what I'm talking, guys? Hopefully, you guys know really what I know what I'm talking about. Number two on this list. I would love to see war cities. Or, like the other one, more cities. I would love to see, like, war bases. Like, military areas. Like, Area 51 or something. And there will be, like, cities. But they will be for the actual military. And stuff. That would be really cool. You can have, like, nuclear bombs. And they have the... If they will have stuff, they can drop it on their enemies. Which brings us to number one. Is it number one or number two? I think it's number two. I don't know. But if you, if it is indeed supposed to be number one, and I'm giving you number two, you guys just get an extra one. Okay? Okay. Um, yeah, I would love to see that. And that brings us to number um, two. I forgot what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> All right, I effed up the recording. Uh, okay. I would love to see, instead, I would love to see, oh, they look like Romans, yeah? They kind of look like Romans. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> I'm really just trying to make a video, <laughs> yeah? Uh, I really have up the recording right here. I don't even remember. All right, number two. I would love to see, mm, different type of, yeah, war, um, let me try to figure out where I am. War bases, uh, the military items like tanks or boats or stuff that can go around, actually like naval invade and travel instead of just having people swim because that's not realistic. 
well, I hope it's not realistic. I don't think um, a person is just going to go out, swim somewhere, and, and they just call that stuff a nation. Uh, that's not how that works. And number one, I would love to see civil wars go on. With the new interesting of the new kingdom or environments, I would love to get um, civil wars going. That would be really cool. Like, having a civil war in World Box, that would be kind of cool, but like, whatever. And this might affect on the first one I said, different types of governments. That would be very awesome. And number zero, which this is kind of just a one that I don't take seriously, but I would love to see in World Box. A uh, player actually taking over a city in World Box. Think about that. What if I had a controller or something? I can take control of the World Box, and I can put like houses down within the city. I can grow farms or that's change the government and do amazing stuff like that. That's kind of stuff I would love to see in World Box. World Box is still a game that's being developed, so I would really love to see multiple stuff within the World Box. That was just some ideas I had about in World Box. Tell me what you guys think about it. And if you guys like the video, make sure you guys give this video a like. You don't have to like it. Do whatever you want. I really don't care. If you are a World Box YouTuber, and please, please indeed try to, uh, please try to do a reaction on this. Because I would love to see uh, your ideas of World Box. So, yeah. Seuss God, out. Please tell me I was recording. <laughs>